Okay, today we're at the Forest Zoo. We're gonna try to give, give you a complete video of the whole zoo. Okay, now we're going into World of the Primates. It's in a huge building. Right now we're inside and the waterfall and everything's turned off. I don't know why they get it turned off. But normally it's turned on. Just like Got some birds up in here. You can hear them. There's a monkey. Looks like he's resting his head on that tree. There's a bird right there. to walk it along. And there's the feeder right there. So this is where the monkeys come out and play. That's their little gym right there to climb up and down. I got my granddaughter with me today. Jonathan is uh, spending the night at a friend's house. There's their little hole they climb into right there. There's the baboon right there. It's called a mandrill. It's got a real colorful snout on him. He's just out here by himself. The Forest Zoo this year, probably because of all the reconstruction, has voted the number one zoo in the United States. There's some old boat motors. There's a turtle. I don't know if you can see it, but it's down there in the water. It's a baby eared. I'm guessing there's some other ones, maybe? Now, they're still working on the zoo here. They'll add animals over on the other side here not too long. There's a huge building over there. I don't remember that being there. I 
I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little baby turtle way down there. Now the boat. Here's a souvenir shop. Here's a restroom. We got plenty of them around. There goes Harmony. As you can see, they got this stuff on here so you won't touch no hot railing. There's a duck. A couple of ducks. This is the area we're walking in now. Flight of the Rhino. Greater One Horn Rhinos. We're going in next. This is probably where they drink water at, pull off. They have fans up in here, but they're not running right now. There's their Rhino. seem a little bit better. They got a little brass uh, elephant in the trailway. This is the area right here that's under construction. We got lions, tigers, hyenas, and cheetahs coming in this area. There's the gorillas. I'll try to get a close up for you. There they are. Don't get too close because they'll make it blurry. Right behind there, you can see they got flamingos. And over the trail, they have a lot of uh, trees, so you don't get really hot going through here. Walk up here so I can get a better view of the flamingos. Uh, you probably see it from the other side. Yeah, there's another way over there to see better. We got a little fight going on over here. There's your closer view. There's your saltwater crocodile. Looks like he's about 18 feet long. And now we're going into the Museum of Reptiles and Amphibians. Hey, this is a Ganges Goral right here. I don't know if you, how well you can see it. But here's one right on top of it. Huge, yeah. And look at all the marks on them. That's where they had to fight. 
I'll show you this face in a minute. Can you lift me up? There's one in the way. They have a real pointy. There's a fish right beside you. Huh? Snout. The fish doesn't even. Yeah, there's the tip of its snout. And its head. I would say that one's at least 12 to 14 feet long. See those big gigantic tortoises over there? There's some more over here. And it's all under shade. They got it well shaded for them. Of course, they're over laying out in the sun. Okay, now we're going in the reptile house. Come on, Harmony. I mean, a uh, frog against the wall over there. What's in here? Dead center of the screen. Oh, Hermes Python. Oh, you see it right there. Hi. Look at the big baby. I bet he's a super cuddly. That's the Python's water hole. He's on right on the other side of that rock over there. I don't know what kind of fish that is. Lots of tiny fish below him. Look way back in the back. Look at it's this all tip. curled up. It's called the Savannah Island Python. This is the West. African green mamba. This would die some highly poisonous. This is the Vietnamese leaf nose snake. And there's another one right there in the water. This one's stuck to the glass, so it's kind of hard to see it. He's right there floating at the top. This here's the king cobra. His head is right there on the left, but it's it's not up. Here's here's the bushmaster, and these things are highly poisonous and can kill you. Mm -hmm. 
looking right at me. Lots of secrets. is an eastern indigo snake and it comes out of Florida. This is uh, the zoo's boot hill, their version of it. I've been to the real boot hill. Uh, this ain't even close. <laughs> they also have uh, as you can see in the distance, say a merry-go-round. I have no clue. This area for kids. They got this whole area fixed up like uh, Western days. They got a candy shop and all kind of other stuff. Now you can go in here and they'll tell you all about uh, the Texas wildlife and stuff. They have a little show in there. They got a little general store right over there. We're going to go in there and check it out. <laughs> Salt and pepper shakers.
Got enough uh, stuffed teddy bears and all coyotes, ponies, squirrels. Got baby's clothes. Got some swans over here. And then we're walking on the bridge. As you can see, it's bouncing up and down every time somebody walks on it. Fixing to head into there. There's Harmony. See this thing is just bouncing up and down. Homie's bouncing up and down on it. Trying to make granddad dizzy. <laughs> Inside of here, they got a lot of things for kids to do. I would say probably three and up, like seven or eight. You can play games over there. Live and learn. They got all kinds of little things to do. There's Harmony. There. Way over against the wall. Mm hmm. Yeah, I see him. I don't see nothing over there. It's a big old huge log saw. Bunch of chains. A gigantic saw. The Gulf Coast. Just pull the gun around to an area where they allow the kids to touch some of the sea urchins and whatnot. I think you touch a starfish. And they have an area separate from this one where you can uh, pay and uh, pet the uh, stingrays. See if there's a man out there teaching everybody about the sea life. thing is the uh, snail that lives inside of it. 
boat out here. Looks like it's sunk. Now they used to let you go through there and go down through there. So forth and so on. They got a top on this because they got a bunch of uh, birds in here from uh, the beach. Galveston area beach. Corpus Christi. South Padre and whatnot. Hanging upside down. Copper head. Here's a Texas horny toad. Dad, there's a horned lizard in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got the GoPro going. The old phone bit the dust. As in, uh, battery was down kind of low, so I figured I'd turn this thing on, get some more video. I just hope it'll let me merge them both together as one video. If not, I'll have to make two parts. Now we're going to the Australian Barrier Reef. Yeah, there's nothing over there though. They'll probably eventually have something over here. Yeah, they're gonna have a kangaroo okay. eventually. Let's go here and see what they got going on. eventually have a lot more than this. The project's gonna last till 2023 till they're done.
Got some more over here, Harmony. Just in. I don't know. They may have their wings clipped where they can't fly off. Those wings aren't clipped. I know because I clip the Aussie's wings all the time. They'd be short and flat. Oh. <laughs> Is that locked? No. Oh, okay. It's just for when they are. No, all right. Thank you. Okay. It's still no gating in. We'll, we'll, we'll find one. Tasmanian Tower closed. It's a rock climbing wall. I'm sure, they're hiring employees so they can do all this. It's pretty. All right, come on. How many got a big old giant snow cone? Another parrot way up there. One right there. We're going into Raptor Canyon. They even got more down there to see, but like I said, the zoo's so big, it's hard to see all of it. I think this goes up and then back down. I don't see anything in here. No, there's nothing in here. Oh, way up there. The vultures. I'm see what the walkway looks like. It pretty much looks the same all the way around. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, it's just put it in your pocket until we get the car. There's a Fruit Loops bird.
Give me my Fruit Loops now. Yeah. There's a view on the door. Where? Right here. Oh yeah, look at this. We got an armadillo. Well, they they're partially blind, so he can't even see you. <laughs> uh, that was good. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's eating all those ants. So is he an ant eater? Oh. He can't see you, so. Well, there's another one in there. Yeah, there's two. I would be careful. Oh, there's two armadillos yeah, there's in there. <laughs> Those are wild armadillos, though. This is the official state small mammal of Texas. There's three of them. Let's hope it's an armadillo. This is where the armadillos are. Yeah, so this is the natural mm -hmm. habitat. Okay. Oh my gosh, too many. Yeah. Oh boy. We got more upstairs. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, lots more. I go on the other side. <clears throat> yeah, come on. Okay. Harmony couldn't come in because she got a drink. Come on, Harmony. One down the stairs. Look at that giant huge stork. That is massive. They got a fairly good bit of the zoo closed. For the reconstruction of the whole thing I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see the area we saw the last time I recorded this we'll see okay everybody that is it for the Fort Worth Zoo about half of it like I was saying earlier is closed down for renovation But what we was able to see, I recorded.
This is the gift shop on the way out. I want to thank every one of y'all for watching. I want to thank all my new subscribers, and we got more to come. Thank you.